Here we go, boys! Hello, Layman Live! Hype in chat for the PlayStation 5 oh. price reveal. This We're is... excited for the, the reveal of prices. That's the thing. That's what we get hyped about these days, guys. The prices. Okay? I think it's going to come in $1 less than the uh, Xbox One Series X. <laughs> it's going to be $498 for their special version. A lot of people and are, are still. $298 gonna... for the discless. A lot of people are going to be like, well, that is cheaper. That is cheaper. That is cheaper. I'm going to go in now and get, right. the, the, get the Sony. Just get re the Sony. Re retail man, just tell me which one's cheaper. And they'll be That's like, all well, I care about. Uh, there's this thing called Get. I don't want to hear about it. Just tell me which one's cheaper. You can one's a dollar cheaper. That, in, that uh, disc insurance. What's that thing called? The game know. guarantees. The game guarantees. Okay, God, that's where they get you. What a scam. That's where they get you, people. Ladies and gentlemen, in Best Buys too. Hello and welcome. This is the PlayStation 5 live stream event thingy majiggy. Yes. Where if they don't give us the price, we riot. We riot. It would be hilarious if they don't give us the price. But you it's know. absolutely going to happen. There's no way that they're going to do this event. Now, was this event planned or this just mysteriously came into existence like a day or two after the so uh, the Xbox price was revealed? I, I don't know. I definitely... I think this is just like, hey guys, we're doing this. Like like Nint like Nintendo Direct. Uh, there was definitely an event planned, obviously. They were going to have something to showcase, right? Sure. Whether or not it was timed for this... I don't know if this was always the plan or if they moved it forward or I have no idea. But yes, it does seem a bit strange that, uh, you know, it's like so soon. As well as it is literally like one or two days before the, the uh, pre-orders go live yeah. for the Xbox Series S and X. So PlayStation very keen to sort of like slip in under there. It's so. like when Sea of Thieves came out. Didn't God of War drop a trailer or something? Sony is, there's always you, that sort of stuff. Sony like some, does that. That's what we're trying to say. Okay, yeah, 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 we're trying yeah. to steal the uh, steal the steal the the light. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. so I do think we're going to see a couple of things today. Number one, I do think we're going to see price. Number two, sure. I think we're going to see release uh, date. Release date. You know, we've already spoken before that there's speculation between the 13th of November and the 20th of November, based on their event budget, and also I think we're going to see some pretty fetch games. A lot of exclusive stuff. Uh, Morales exclusive. gameplay. Yeah. I think we're going to see that. Sure. I think we're going to see God of War. I think we're going to see God of War, everybody. I don't see what I'm feeling. That's what everyone's hoping for. Uh, there was no evidence to suggest that we're going to see that. The timing uh, is the most thing. I'm like, well, it's been two two years now. It's been a while. Um, and also, it's now like become like the... Ma not, uh, I would say one of the biggest mascots of PlayStation now. Oh, for sure. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. Well, I mean, Crash Bandicoot used to be that. And then it wasn't exclusive anymore. So they needed to find a new one. Okay, so this sure. is obviously now the new mascot. So it makes sense if they can go, you know, out the gate with a really nice teaser trailer. Or maybe a, like a fleshed out trailer of a game that may come out relatively soon. I think... That's pretty cool. If we see anything for God of War 2, it will be just a sneaky little... Like, hey, mm. you see, like, Thor's hammer or something, yeah. you know what I mean? And, like, Kratos picks it up or something. Or Atreus, know, you know what I mean? You know, as a teen. Or something. I'm feeling like he's going to be a teenager this time. This is all speculation. It is, okay? true. No, no. So then Corey slid into our DMs. Yeah, he like, told us, all right, now we're just, you know, we're just going to give it to you guys because we're always exactly. real with you, okay? Exactly. So right. what, what Corey tells us in DMs, we will he's pass like, straight on to you. We can trust you guys, right? That's You're right. YouTubers. Yeah, bro. Yeah, well, you, yeah, don't, nah, you do. Nah. We've got you, Corey. Sure. We've got you. So I do think we're going to probably see, hopefully, something like that. We are going to see some big heavy hitters. That's what I'm saying. Like, there has to be some well, big okay. exclusive titles the, I think. The weird rumor that's running around is that we're going to see the reveal of Final Fantasy 16 today. I saw that, yes. Now, again, no evidence to suggest that. It just sort of started being talked about mm. and then it's like, oh, I guess that's happening. Definitely. I do not believe that that will happen. Uh, or at least I will say this. I have, there's no evidence whatsoever to suggest that's true. It would be cool if it's true, but there's no evidence to suggest that it will be true. But FF15 wasn't even that great, right? Like, yeah, I actually didn't was jump shit. on. It was the most linear experience in Final mm, Fantasy that's ever done, yeah, right? It's not. No, I mean, they're all. Uh, it's a long story, believe me. I did a freaking 45 minute yes, video on that disaster that. of a game. Uh, I would love it. And then, look, Final Fantasy 14 was trash tier until it became extraordinary. 15 was really bad at launch. It got a hell of a lot better. Square has been going through a journey, right? And uh, hopefully they're able to take some of that learning into 16 and make a good Final Fantasy at launch. That would be nice for once. I think they're going to take note from FF7 uh, Remake in terms of the combat yeah. and all that kind of stuff. But we've been seeing like combat like that with Final Fantasies in the recent ones, right? Like... What? Like the Final Fantasy um, 
uh, 15, was that similar to the combat in um, FF's, uh, FF7 Remake? Oh, nowhere near as good. Oh, as no, in, like, good sorry, no, like, 15 combat was terrible. It was yeah, so yeah. bad. It was so bad. Yeah, yeah, okay. Well, I think the, the Kingdom Hearts thing that they did, the amalgamation of Kingdom Hearts and also kind of the new Final Fantasy VII Remake stuff, that was a lot. That was very good. I loved good. that. Very I good. hope that they continue to do that. But apart from that... The other one uh, we're waiting on is Elden Ring. So uh, yes. that one is huge amounts of hype. I wonder whether or not... Because like Demon's Souls remake has got to come first, right? And I think that's kind of soon-ish. I wonder if they're going to hold off on Elden Ring stuff and not build too much hype for it and just really focus on Demon's Souls remake mm. because that's their chance to really zero in on, you know? Um, I don't know. We'll see. Everyone has been crying out for an Elden Ring trailer forever. I remember like... End of last year, people were like, could you please see an Elden Ring trailer? It's nothing's coming, you know what mm. I mean? So uh, it would be really nice if we saw that as well. The other thing is um, multiplayer for The Last of Us Part 2. That's uh, the, the factions mode, which they have said is being worked on. Um, it's been a little while now since Last of Us 2. You remember Last of Us 2, Sam? Do you remember that game? I thought that, guys. That was probably the game of the year. The internet didn't really talk about it very much, but it did come out, right? It, it was really in the title. It was in the title. But, it was uh, a small hidden hidden title. <sighs> uh, it snuck in there, you know, didn't create too much fuss, mm. but they also do have a multiplayer mode coming as well. I didn't even know they had a multiplayer mode coming. I, never, I thought it was done and dusted. Yeah, yeah. I never played the multiplayer from the original Last of Us, but those that did love it. They're okay. like, this is so good. It's not just like some tacked on shitty multiplayer that people think or whatever it's like a real thing that people love so i wonder if we're going to see anything <coughs> for cyberpunk uh, we have seen in previous xbox no, shows there's... for instance that they have uh you know had a dedicated slot and shown some new stuff for cyberpunk that was last year and that was of course before we saw a lot of hands-on stuff and a lot of uh kind of longer 45 minute you know gameplay and trailers and stuff we might not see that, but it would be kind of well, cool to there's see the, that. There's the live, the um, Night City Wire is coming up soon. They've got another one coming Another up. one already? Cool. They do. So, cool. Uh, and they just announced recently, I think within that Night City Wire, we're going to see uh, requirements for PC as well. Mm -hmm. They hinted at that. Um, but, uh, yeah, so I don't think we're going to see any any anything for Cyberpunk today mm. for that reason. I think they're going to probably keep their powder dry for that. So, okay. I'm checking my phone because I can't see the time while we're doing this and I want to see how much longer we have to go. Oh, I see five. Okay, we've got seven minutes. So I think the real big question today is uh, where's the... By the way, we are reading the chat. Thank you everyone for being here. There's a we lot do, to get through. We we'll do we'll love get you. to some super chats soon uh, before we get started. And when we do start, we won't do any super... Ch we, won't, we won't read out any super chats because we just want to focus we on We won't talk events. too much just like Pizza Ralph. Okay, so we won't... Pizza uh, Ralph. We won't talk too I'm much. I'm fall asleep during the, uh, <laughs> during the show. What? Uh, uh, that's Fable. <laughs> Clearly not Fable, <laughs> yeah, yeah. you know? What was that game I didn't know everyone got annoyed at me at? Um, we were watching it and everyone was like, how do you not know that game? Anyway, that's not going to happen There today. was that game. I, I, I remember that. I can't remember what that was. was. But it was really... I watched the stream and I was like, oh no. Yeah, yeah. No, no they didn't. No, they no, didn't. No, no, no. No. Uh, you're like, you're like, I didn't wasn't know, like Final Fantasy. There was a first one of these. Like, oh, I, I had no idea, now. right? Anyway, whatever. Um, anyway, super let's, chats. Let's do some super chats. Uh, sure, let's do some super chats. Uh, Sasenio is here. He says, "Have fun, guys. Gonna watch this with my family in front of TV." But I had to toss a coin to my layman. Thank you very much. My, 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 blah, 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 blah. We appreciate you. Thank Bird you, the my Abyss, dude. So calm. That's right. Stalker. They're like, I didn't know there was a first stalker. Stalker. <laughs> yes. Uh, Mandor is here. Actually, the Bird of the Abyss says, so calm. We're not going to see a so calm game. That would be pretty cool, but I doubt it. Nando, uh, Nando's back. He says, the time has come and so have I. Let the Skyrim 76 rehanced uh, <laughs> edition commence. Uh, Poita is here. He says, give me God of War or I don't care. Mm. And Sasenio again says, hey, don't call Sam a loser on Twitter. He's fine. He I didn't is. know people were calling me a loser on Twitter. I was calling you a loser but on that's Twitter, okay. just so you know. Jordan Parker also says, what's up, layman? You fellas uh, gunning for a 3080. Hell yeah. <laughs> no, 3090, baby. Give it to me. Give it to 390, me. 390, I just think, is a lot more in the, uh, economical, the price of it. So yeah, definitely yeah, yeah. the 3090. <laughs> Uh, the big question mark today is price, right? Especially given what Xbox has done with the Xbox Series S, which is insane. Mm. It's 2K gaming, or essentially 1440p gaming for 299 at 60 FPS, if it can be believed. Uh, with Game Pass, you know, uh, which is like a library of 180 games plus, since they just added EA Play to it. With the monthly yep. uh, ability to pay it, Pl with pretty much no interest. Correct, basically, like an interest-free loan where you can just pay it off by the month. 
plus also like Project X Cloud, which has just launched this week, by the way, just a few days ago, officially launched. Not in Australia, of course. Not in Australia, of but course, because we never get anything here. I actually don't know if it's a huge, a, a, as big as question mark as everyone is saying, because Sony has pretty much said before that like they're going to wait, of course, well, both of them have said they're going to wait as long as they can for price and they're going to make sure that it comes very close to each other. So like, I don't think we're going to see... Having said that, PlayStation did come out and say the whole, we want to put you know value over quantity or whatever they said, insinuating that it was going to be uh, a hefty price, right? They've obviously seen the Xbox price. They've waited for that price to drop. Sure. I think they're going to make sure it comes in pretty close to that. <sighs> Sony does have the advantage. We know this. They have all the exclusive... They have all the install base. Everyone has their trophies and whatever and their friends lists and all the games that they love already on PlayStation. It's already an uphill battle for Xbox, so maybe they can capitalize on that in terms of price. I would expect if, if this was a little bit more expensive, I can see why it would be a little bit. Because they've won the console war last time. They've got all the install base. Everyone's like, a lot of people love Sony and love what Sony has done in the exclusives. It might come in 20, 30, 50 bucks more, or it might come in at the same price. I, yeah, I, I just, if PlayStation can deliver the disc-free version at $299, I'm going to be really stunned, mm. to be honest with you. Really but stunned. Why, but why can't they, though? This is the thing. It, it, you know, I know it's uh, a bit more of a sleeker architecture in terms of it's uh, not as powerful as Xbox. No, no, because the thing is the... the Disc free version of the play. Uh, again, I could be wrong about this. Oh, I'm you pretty mean the sure the disc free version of the PlayStation is just the same PlayStation but without the disc drive. Okay? I see. I'm pretty sure I'm right about that. I don't think so, but I know what you mean I'm pretty by sure, that. I'm pretty sure the specs are the same across both systems. That's the difference. The Xbox it's a Series. Stay tuned, guys. It's happening. It's getting going. Xbox Series X and S is different, though. They have different specs. Uh, and, you know, so then you expect that price differential. Mm. Uh, I just feel like, you know. <laughs> 299 is a really competitive price it's for like a next-gen console. It's really cheap for a brand new next-gen console. Mm. If PlayStation can match that without having to sacrifice any specs with their library of exclusives, that's also really, 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 really competitive. You know, like that's a hard, that's a hard sell. Yeah, like, I mean, I really feel like with a lot of these console wars, it's like the first six months. It's like the first year, like the install base, then the domino effect of that, like. Maybe Sony's just going to be like, fuck it, we just want to get everybody on our platform again. Sure. And if they do, the game's already over, you know, because like if the install base within the first six months or a year is already flooded in a certain direction, be it Xbox or PlayStation, then all your mates are playing on here and then you're incentivized to buy that, you know, that console. And then I because think, you're playing mm -hmm. it, then you tell your mates, I'm on PlayStation. So it's that whole a, thing, I you do, know? I do think it's a different generation this time, though. I mean, you've got crossplay, which a lot of games now True. have. Yes. Uh, you certainly have Game Pass and you have Project X Cloud, mm. which X Cloud's less of a factor right now. But Game Pass is pulling a lot of people into the Xbox ecosystem. Tremendous value. Subscription services for gaming. Like, you know, whatever. The, 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 whole, the ability to to have the Xbox all access and pay $30 a month for a next-gen Xbox or whatever, no interest. It's a very different console generation. So I would say that I don't think it's like, oh, we just need to win that first year and get the install base and it gets rolling after that. I don't think it's that. I think it's a more constant battle and on different ba and on different terms. You mm. know, the battlefield is very different. Um, and so, I, but either way though, $299, that's the price point that really matters in this, I think, because people can buy into next gen at two ninety nine right now with Xbox, with all the stuff that comes with it. If Sony don't compete around there, I do feel as though it's a barrier. Mm. I, I do feel like that's going to hold them back at and least a little bit. It's unique circumstances too. We are seeing, you know, recession. We're seeing COVID. We're seeing all this kind of stuff. Definitely, a lot of people have Definitely. to figure out, uh, you know, economically how they're going to enter the market of next gen. Right? Like, that's it's, very true. It's not. It's not as easy this time. So. I do think that's also going to play a factor in their decision making, just as much as going to play a factor in a lot of other people's decision making. So, that's probably a really defining factor why we saw that come in at two ninety nine. Also, like they really wanted to come in really cheap because they know the market. If it was like a booming economy, maybe it would have been a little bit more. I don't know, right? I mean, this is all speculation, but it's extremely cheap to see a, a next gen at two ninety nine. Um, I just wonder what they're going to do today. But again, I do. I was just saying, yeah. I do feel like Sony still holds the advantage at the moment with exclusives because exclusives is the game yeah. like Nintendo never has to worry because they still kind of own the exclusive like kingdom you know but Sony's getting there I have said that before
Yeah, but I, again, I would say it's, it's a different battleground. Like, yes, Sony owns first party exclusives. Xbox at this point owns like third party through Game Pass. Do you know what I mean? Like, it's just, there's just so much shit that you can get on there for what feels like free, you but know? But we're forgetting that PS Now is also has a president, uh, presence in other countries. It doesn't really have a presence It has here. no presence in other countries. Like, okay, it exists. Don't get me wrong. People it exists, use it, yeah, right? Yeah, but it's just nowhere near the same level as Game Pass. So, I, I mean, all it would take is for Sony to cast its eyes in that direction and go, okay, well, that's our strategy. And then they just need to, like double down on their exclusives and double down on making some really good deals for themselves. It wouldn't take them a long time for, is it starting? No. It wouldn't take a long time for them to be like, cool, we want to actually fix this part of our business and we want to implement all the games that Game Pass has uh, and we'll pay what we need to to make sure that we're competing in that space. We should be getting started very soon, guys. We'll get uh, some super chats as we finish up. What's up, Lehman, says Jordan Parker. You guys, I know we're 38, we've done that. Nandoy says, after the GTA 5, I expect Red Dead 2 reveal as well. I think he well. means GTA 6, I guess. I think he's just trolling. I think he's just being... Uh, yeah. Henry says, finally catching you guys live. Looking forward to seeing how many uh, Sony matches... Or see how Sony matches the value package that Microsoft has produced. Mm, definitely. Prototype 1 says, love you guys. You're the only ones who hates The Last of Us than me. <laughs> Thanks for all your reviews. You guys rock. Cheers from eternity. He liked The Last of Us. I didn't think it was a terrible I didn't game. hate it. I just... I just I think just it was. Like a, it. I was speaking to a friend of mine yesterday, and the, the best way he put it was, uh, it was the most forgetful game he played of 2020. I'm like, that's here that's, we go, boys. Let's go. Yeah, let's here go. 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 Hop in the chat. Let's go. Let's, okay, let's, let's turn up the sound. Gotta, you got to help us with the levels, <sighs> by the way, guys. We should be okay for levels, but tell us if uh, it's a bit loud or a bit soft. World premiere. PlayStation. Here we go. Give us some sound. Let's go. I remember when he saw the reveal of the design, and it was like, yes, yes that's right. This thing looks weird and cool. Where was that? What? This where where did we see that? The last life different. Oh, was it? Okay. Where are we? You see things others can't. I remember that Ratchet and Clank gameplay as well. That shit was this level. They are working with 1080, right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Looks like it's Larry. That's what it is. Let's tend it. But whatever comes. That weird cat game. Yeah, that's right. Be the cat. I'm actually excited for the next oh. Horizon Zero Dawn now. That's I'm having finished Horizon Zero Dawn finally. Such a sexy, sexy setup, man. Yeah, yeah. I like it. I look forward to buying all of the things. Mm. The controller stands. Captured on PC, emulate the PS5 experience. Ooh. That's not good. At least they're being open about it. Yeah, At least they're being but... open about it. But still, that is disappointing. Is that, is that a bonfire? Is this, is this Elden Ring? It. It's not Elden Ring, damn it. Is this Final Fantasy 6? Square Enix. This could be Final Fantasy 6. Shiva's dominant. And only the dominant. How do we even know the girl will be among us? Our kind do not question orders, we follow them. Sergeant, let's summon their icon. Icon? That picks up bloody mountain. This is unit three. Bro, is this Final Fantasy 16? That's Shiva. What is this? Yeah. Are they opening this show with Final Fantasy 16? Crystal easily. This will be a bitter fight. You should not be out of doors. We have discussed this. Come, Joshua. Your father will be expecting us. I am Joshua's shield. I'm sworn to protect him. What do you mean you refuse? Did you not pledge your sword to our cause? I, mean, I think it, it really is, yeah. It was the Dalmex who drove back the Crusaders in the Battle of the Twin Realms, was it not? Without the blessing of the Mother Crystal, we cannot defend our realm from the spread of the Blight. Do they really mean to invade us? Yeah. 
Jesus. Not holding back on that one. <laughs> Definitely a lot edgier than we've seen other Final Fantasy games. Straight into a gameplay trailer. Fine. But that's impossible. The legacy of the crystals. PC, bad luck Xbox. Oh, that sucks, Ouch. man. That sucks big time. It looks like solo combat, but we didn't see any group combat I can't at all. I believe that we just saw Final Fantasy 16. That's so weird. There was no like cinematic yeah, trailer yeah, reveal. Yeah, yeah. It's very ex it I'm very good at that stuff, too. It's like, hey, what's up? This is Final Fantasy 16. Here's yeah. a gameplay trailer. That's so weird. I was so. I actually need to watch that trailer again. It's usually a world building was, cinematic, but it's was, not. Yeah, yeah, yeah totally. Mm. I was just so confused by that whole process. And all cinematic and gameplay footage you're about to see from this point forward in the show has been captured on the PS5. Okay. okay, there you go. That's all good then, okay. Oh, that's why they did the PC, because it's also on PC. All right. Yeah, wow. Okay. Ah, that's so interesting. Here we go. Here we go, boys. Dang, I'm late for Mom's rally. I'm just going to make sure it's on the TV. I knew, Seven, 20, I knew it! I knew it! we fixed it. You're like, no, Sam. No, I, I saw it anyway. I was wrong. That's right. There's no way. That's right. Subway card. Check. You got the house key? Yeah, I got it. I can't believe Final Fantasy XVI just got revealed. I'm just like so weirded out by mm. that right now. I can't get over it. Come on! We're gonna be late! Uh, hey! <laughs> Dude, I am so filling your suit with snow. Are you still wearing your suit? Yeah, you know, just in case. It's gonna be fine. Man, look at those puddles. Puddle Gate 2.0 on this the way. Is my yeah. favorite part of living in Hall. Oh, look at that, though. Pop up street amazing. fair, best food in the city, yeah. awesome music. Man, this would so be good. great for the last beat I was working on. I should get back into mixing. Yeah, it's been a while. Volume on the whole mix on this is so bad. It is up and down. It's, it's really time. up and down. What do you times. think about Rio Morales? You gonna vote for her? It's basically hard to think of mom as a politician. She's been a teacher my whole life. Similar skill sets, right? Rallying people, educating them, making sure they don't throw things at each other. I wouldn't say this area looks like next gen. The lighting is all does a lot. Hi, I'm Brian Horton, creative director at Insomniac Games. We're excited to show you this first look at gameplay from Marvel Spider-Man Miles Morales. Our story picks up one year after the events of the first game, and we find Miles' new home, Harlem, is in danger. Trouble brews while Miles' mom, Rio Morales, leads an election rally. A war between the devious energy corporation, Roxxon, and the underground. A high-tech criminal army led by the Tinkerer starts to break out. In this gameplay sequence, captured on PlayStation 5 hardware, the underground attacks Roxxon, sending the rally into chaos in a fight that spills onto the Braithwaite Bridge, where the underground tries to steal Roxxon's experimental energy source, new form. Let's take a look. Go, go, go! go, go, go. go. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Let's not shoot each other, all right? Yeah. <laughs> 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 that's that's, 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 that's right there. 
Ignore <laughs> everything else. Spider-Man's biggest strength was like was like a cinematic movie, yeah. uh, a Marvel movie. But just, this looks like it's doing the same thing, which is exactly what it needs to do. Cinematography on that, off the chain, completely next level, unbelievable. Holiday 2020, it is coming out this year, confirmed, guys. I think it'll, be a, it'll be a launch title, I'm sure, right? Uh, I don't know about launch, but they said holiday. I mean, they haven't launched, announced the launch date, so they can't say it. But yeah, exactly. Yeah, um, yeah. but that was so impressive, man. That God, looks that's fantastic. Be, uh, that's yeah. I expect that to be as good as the previous one, man. No reason for them to drop the ball. That was just very, very solid, so... What was that? Oh, this looks like... Le Glitch? Oh, yeah. Oh, the new Batman movie? Um, what's the new... What am I Wizarding saying? World? Oh, this is the Harry Potter one, right? Magic. Both beautiful and powerful, 
binds together our long history. That common bond we share is the legacy of Hogwarts. Mm. Now it is time to add your own story to these hallowed walls. No man, and quite possibly shape the future of the wizarding world. Every corridor, every portrait, every stone in this castle tells the story of witches and wizards who came before. Here you will meet lifelong friends and grow into your own magical abilities in the classrooms of the world's most talented professors. And while your journey begins at Hogwarts, brewing potions, taming fantastic beasts, and mastering spells, there is a larger world beyond these walls. A world filled with dangers you can't yet imagine. An ancient knowledge long gone from this world. That strange and mysterious talent you possess may be the key to unlocking this dormant power. Your potential is limitless. But what form will it take? The journey ahead will reveal what you stand for. It looks like an open world Harry Potter game. The yeah, but it's not going to be. Make now will define just you. the legacy of Hogwarts. Hogwarts Legacy. Port Key Games. Why do they have that in the title? They're like, Jackie Rowling had nothing to do with this. <laughs> Live, <laughs> Live the under in 2021. That looks pretty cool, I can like I say? That. I don't exactly know what that is yet, but that looks pretty cool. Yeah, it's pretty fetch. I mean, uh, it's uh, pretty well... It's like the most realized Harry Potter universe we've, or like world we've seen in a video game. You didn't play the, uh, the PS1 one? Bro, I actually that. did play some of the PS1 yeah, one. Yeah, yeah. And the Lego Harry Potter one. Oh, I can't remember if I played that. Yeah. yeah. Um, yeah, wow, that's Hi, everyone. I'm Dan Vondrak, creative director at Raven. One of our goals as developers is to bring the game world to life unlike anything you've ever experienced, and the PlayStation 5 is making that happen. With the power of the new console, we've been able to significantly enhance the overall experience. From what you see in the world, how it feels in your hands, to what you hear around you. In Black Ops Cold War, you will be transported to the year 1981, in the middle of one of the most dangerous times the world has ever known, the height of the Cold War. The following is a portion of the first campaign mission where you've been given the name of a high-value target linked to the Iran hostage crisis. But in true Black Ops style, nothing is as it seems. Take a look. All right, let's go. I'm always down for some Reagan. Kasim is out of the picture. How long before we get a rush? The team arrived in Turkey a few hours ago. Yeah, these sound levels suck. Audio makes it so bad. Airfield's just up ahead. Let's go find this shithead. Got it, Jensen. Priority is to ID a rush before things go hot. I don't expect this to look very different from the last one, mm. considering they just upped their engine like last 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 iteration. So, but in general, but like, it still looks fantastic. Yeah, it's just like I don't expect this to look different. Check it out. Incoming truck, left side. A rush might be in the truck. I don't want them. What the fuck? We just diced everyone in a truck. 
That's gotta be a rush. Hold fire. We need a positive ID. That's our man. Take him out. He looks like Dr. Disrespect with that mustache. <laughs> I imagine the watch him. I'm so sick of him in this game. <laughs> oh shit! Look at him. Boom hand sacks all around, guys. <laughs> Champions Club. This looks great, but like, yeah, I, mean, I think figuring out next gen and mastering last gen already, like, there's going to be a time that the graphics aren't massively improved. I still like it's just a pod shooter game, which is fine. Like, they're really fun to play. It's just like we've seen this thing for 15 years now, which is fine. You know what I mean? But I'm not like, oh yeah, I'm talking. I'm not waiting to play this thing on the runway where I'm shooting out of the car while the car's moving. Never done that before. I, I think in general, like with next gen, like we're not going to see the huge jump that we saw between like PS2 and PS3 or something. You know? Oh, the remote control car, of course. We can go faster than real cars, of course. Pretty cool. there's, another, there's another Call of Duty game coming out, guys. Yeah, we hope you enjoyed that sneak peek at the it, campaign sure. for Black Ops Cold War. There are many more twists and turns along the way as you begin to unravel the truth, and we can't wait for you to play it soon. In addition to the story campaign, Cold War features the next generation of multiplayer online combat and an all-new awesome zombies experience. Today, I have the special honor to announce on behalf of my friends at Treyarch that the PlayStation community doesn't have to wait to play multiplayer. Starting this Friday, PlayStation players will be able to play the multiplayer alpha exclusively on PlayStation 4. And for those of you that are yeah, watching at home on your PS4, like, yes. you can preload the experience starting tomorrow. We can't wait to see you online Friday and through the weekend. Enjoy the rest of the show. All right. Bad luck, Xbox peeps. Xbox. Xbox. So guys. I can't believe we saw Final Fantasy 16. I still can't believe that. I'm sorry. I can't get over what, it. When was the last one uh, brought out? Two years ago? A year ago? Which one? Five, uh, FF15. 15? Yeah, when was that Dude, coming that... out? Okay, well. Guess we'll go back and look at that some other I'm time, sure it won't be Sam. That. It won't be that important, guys. Yeah, right. Just like the, the, the post credit scene in like every Marvel movie. It'll be that important. <laughs> Arcane, man, they only make good shit. You That's the rule. The time loop. You gotta learn how it works. Oh no, not Black Tenant Reef again. Is a puzzle, and each visionary is a different piece. My head still hurts. Here's Igor. I am a respected scientist. I've done so many loops, I've learned to run circles around him. Taking my targets out one by one, more than I can remember. But there is never enough time. I go after one, 
another lives. Because right now, half an island away, a different visionary is throwing his nightly cannibal masquerade. Alexis Dorsey. Everybody shut up! This is my jam. Igor is a big fan, yet somehow he never makes it to the party. Something keeps him home. Cold, you there, buddy? Here's the invite to the party. And here's why Igor blew it off. He made some kind of scientific breakthrough that morning. I did it! I did it, it works! That he makes every morning. Unless I get there first. No experiment, no breakthrough, no reason for Igor not to drink his disappointment with Alexis. Now I got a shot at killing them both at the same time, in the same loop. I focus on single player. Mm. Yeah. Rip. Eight targets on my list. Every one of them with grand plans for eternal life. To break the loop, I gotta break the rules. Clock's ticking. <laughs> and you just ran out of time. You keep forgetting, Colt. I'm not like those other idiots. Only got one name on my list. Yours. Yeah, because while you're trying to take out targets, there's also someone else. I'm not sure if they're trying to take out targets or they're just trying to take out you. Mm. Which she seemed to imply it was just that. Exclusive. PlayStation console exclusive, also available on PC. Yeah, Rip. I thought so. That's, that's a that's, hefty trailer for something that's not exclusive. That's a Bethesda game, by the way. So that's Bethesda signing up for PlayStation exclusive with PlayStation. PlayStation bad or Bethesda bad? That's the real question. Okay. It's just bad in general. It's disappointing. It really sucks for Xbox people. Big time. I do, I do think that looks cool though. Like, I, wanna, I said I trust Arcane, so that does look really interesting. I think probably they've... 15 minutes off from price. Capcom presents. That day, if our positions were switched, would our fates be different? Is this Devil May Cry? Would I have your life and your mind? You a demon? Oh my god, the Five Special Edition. What's so special about about it? Extra one. red orbs. <laughs> this is just filler. Filler. This game's already come out. <laughs> this game's already come oh, out, man. people. I don't know what you just said to the nah, community. I don't care. This game's already come out. Yes. I want to see Special Edition. <laughs> I want to see next gen, I want to see new shit. I do remember what, what's in the special edition, what makes it sound? Rest in peace. This is six soundtracks. Yeah. This must be next gen graphics. Gen graphics. Like for like the special edition must be for PS5. I guess like that must be yes. That must be what they're doing. Console, yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. Boom. Cry. Digitally at launch. Okay. Yeah. I wonder if that's a free upgrade or something, if you've already got it. Doubt yeah, it. Special it edition way. usually doesn't imply that it's a free upgrade. Usually implies you got to pay for it. We'll see, I guess. Well, they did say... Sony said they're going to leave it to the devs. They did. They did. 
Is this live? Yes, it's live. We're live, boys and girls. Odd world inhabitants. Okay, fair enough. Oh, I don't like odd world. It's weird, man. It's I'm always weird. It. It's always weird. What are they doing? Did those fugitive morons burn down their own hideout? It sounds idiotic, but that's exactly what it looks like. <laughs> Bad Guama for burning down my farm. <laughs> Hi, I'm Lauren Lanning, creative director of Oddworld Soulstorm, and we're excited to bring you an all-new exclusive trailer from the game. Here, our unlikely hero, Abe, finds himself fresh off the back of freeing his people from the nefarious rupture farms. He thinks the journey is over, but soon discovers it has only just begun. The stakes are higher, the threats are larger, the obstacles are more devious, and it's all made possible by the power of PlayStation 5. Enjoy. I mean, it's just... No, I but like, I mean, I'm talking about the previous one that came out. I played the one on PS1. I didn't even know if there was another one after that. I had no idea. Yeah, there was like, away there was from quite a few. Like, what yeah. is That's a really nice world design. Wait here. Hey, why the hold up? I could go for a sandwich right well, now. We gotta get out of here. Come on, my let's tummy, get out of here. My tummy's growling. I, I'm Stop. hungry. Stop. <laughs> All right. Cool. Cool. Nice, I guess. Is there a date or something? Do we not get a date for that? Nope. No date card. Okay, fair enough. What time are we now? They said I think this is gonna be a 45-minute show, which means yeah. we've got about 10 minutes left. Get ready for some big hitters. They're gonna go out strong. Halo Infinite gameplay, come on, baby. Gregory, your friends are worried about you. They're here with me. Please, come out. Gregory, I may have lost my temper earlier, but it was just a glitch. It won't happen again. It's been such a difficult day for all of us. Why don't you come out and we can play a game together? It won't happen again. I've seen that movie. Oh, where have I seen that? Gregory, be still. I think she's found us. Oh, that's right. Five Nights at Freddy's. Yeah, that's right. I've actually never played this before. So, yeah. But it's massive. Like, it's so disgustingly popular, but I've just never played it. I don't know. It has this gigantic YouTube community behind it. Really? Oh, that's much more when I've seen that, that huge teddy looking thing yeah, on that thumbnails. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, exactly. You've seen it on thumbnails, but I've never played it before. It's just, I know that it's massive, so. I just thought I heard Go to War. No? Soul of the Lost withdrawn from its vessel. <gasps> Let strength be granted so the world This is the Demon Souls remake. Soul of the Lost withdrawn from its vessel. Let strength be granted so the world might be mended. I really liked Demon Souls. So I actually played it before I played Dark Souls. I loved its world. It was all its hub based. And this is the central hub that leads out to the other locations. But really awesome world design across the board. <laughs> if it's as hard as Akira, I'm not interested. <laughs> I uh, couldn't it's do not, it. It's not, it's not, it's not, it's not. It's very old, like, combat, mm. like, you know, lots of shield, like, all 
shield turtle out. Unless they've updated the combat, but like, yeah. It's frame rate, man. I don't know. Oh, that's a one drop, man. That's a one. Drop. No, in general though, it's like, yeah. It's so weird seeing how clean it looks like. It's just... These enemies are easy. Yeah. Man, this thing is struggling on PS5. Right? Yeah, Big time. A lot of it's, yeah. I kind of like that they're honest about it, but then I'm yeah. like, oh, then it's not ready for it. I bring it down a bit then. I mean, this guy must be so overleveled for this room, for this area. <laughs> He's just one-shotting everything. It just, it's, it's so weird. Like, I don't know how to describe it, but it just it doesn't feel like Dark Souls. I know that sounds really weird and lame, but like... It just seems so cinematic almost. And I think Dark Souls is not that. Dark Souls you mean is kind the of camera angle is, the is whole messing package, with you? The lighting, the camera angle, the smoothness, I guess? Dark Souls? I don't know. It just feels much more janky in a mm. way. You know what I mean? Mm. Maybe just that's it. Like, I'm just so used to Dark Souls having this kind of jank built into it. Here comes the boss. Sick. Good dodge, man. Good dodge. It looks kind of cartoony rather than looking really decrepit. Maybe that's it. It looks like Disney's Dark Souls as opposed to like. Way to show us the dying. Better than die twice here. This one? It looks pretty. Where's the big thing that comes with that block? Dragon Breath fight. Where's the flying stingrays? Show me the flying stingrays. I love those guys. Yeah, I might play it, you know, maybe. Yeah. It just looks so different to anything that I've seen before from that franchise. It's kind of like, yeah, I don't know, it just looks weird to but me. Even Sekiro, like, that only came out last year. I mean, it's had a smoothness to it. it, it is I know, that, I, I, I'm not describing it correctly, I know that. I'm just mm. saying, like, it's just it's just weird to take in what that was and be like, oh yeah, that's Demon's Souls, you know what I mean? I just guess, because I played it originally on, what, PS3? Where it kind of just had so much jank built into mm. it. So it's just a big jump, I guess. It does look good though, for sure. Like, no, no question. Oh, Fortnite. Great. Is this Fortnite? Fortnite? Oh, no. oh, why? Why? No! Fortnite exclusive on PS5. They're probably going to do this just to say, okay, now, maybe they're doing cross gen announcement. And the next gen. I wonder if they're going to do this and then also announce cross gen for next gen. Come on to PS5 available launch. There you well, have it. Who okay. cares? At least they were at least they were quick with it. That's yeah, good. Yeah. That's good. Okay. PlayStation four minutes. Plus collection. A new PlayStation Plus benefit for PlayStation 5. I wonder if this is their like Can Game Pass competitor. Me? Oh, this is there. If you play it, it looks nicer. My name is Connor. That was a good game. 
lot of people hated that game. I, I love that game. I, I thought it was great. A lot. It's good enough to be like, be like, I like to trade. He's like, really? You like that trash? So there's a lot of games on whatever this is. We don't quite know what it is though. I'm guessing you. I think you're right. They're they're looking to compete against. Is it like the big? Yeah. Is it like a subscription service? After all, we've been. It's time. Sona Five on there. That's for you, Weebs. Love it. Love to see it. Yeah, this is going to be Game Pass PlayStation. Enjoy a selection of generation-defining PS4 games. Access the entire collection on your PS5 at launch. Simply download games and start playing. There you go. So it's PS Plus Collection. Where if you have PS Plus, you also get access to their full library of first-party games, I guess. Or at least maybe not full library, but a lot of them. So it's trying to compete with Game Pass, but it doesn't sound like there was an extra price there, but we haven't seen it. But it's PlayStation Plus, so it's what you already have. So you, you're paying like $70 a month or whatever, a, a year, for PlayStation Plus, and then you get those games included. Not a bad deal. Uh, not a bad deal. Considering the quality of those games, that's a good deal. Mm. A lot of Sony fans, I expect, probably already have most of those games. Exactly right, yeah. So unless they're bringing like their, you know, first party exclusives to that service on day one, which they won't be, then yes. Horizon Zero Dawn was missing from that, Spider-Man was missing from that, some other titles, sure, like sure. big titles were missing from that. Yeah. We got... Still, it's a good value proposition for those who have not yet played them. This is price time. Let's check it out. Oh, with the USB-C in the front, lovely. USB-C? Hmm. Really? Sorry, the front. Yeah, oh, okay, right. Yeah. It's a quality Sony product. Spot for price right there. Oh, there it is. $3.99 for the digital, $4.99 for PlayStation 5 for the disc version. November 12th, 19, the rest of the world. Australia the 12th! Yes! We did it! Yeah, boys! We did it! Australia the 12th! Thank you very much. Love it. So now you know. Thank you all for joining us today and for being part of this amazing journey. It's your passion as fans of gaming that drives us to deliver a truly new generation of experiences on PS5. From everyone at PlayStation, we appreciate your continued support, and we look forward to you getting your hands on PS5 very soon. To close, let me leave you with one more quick look. Some more, baby. Come on. Come on, you know you want to give it to us. God of War, Elden Ring. Can't be Elden Ring though, they did already did the Demon's Souls theme. More. It's snow, it's gone to war. Shh, shh, shut up, man. The time draws near. Oh my god, okay. Come on, give us more than a logo, please. Give us something. You must prepare yourself. Ragnarok. Is that it? Come on, man. Give me more of the logo. Don't go full. Don't go full. Elder Scrolls on me. No. No. You broke my heart, Sony Santa Monica Studios. You broke my heart. I still give that a 94 on Metacritic. <laughs> give me that. <laughs> oh, shit. That's crazy. All right, well, okay, guys. If you didn't know it before, God of War 2 is in development. Here we <laughs> We're go. making God it's of happening. War 2. It's happening. It's happening. Um, we'll turn this down while we have a chat. Here we will. This is all just going to be gameplay stuff. I thought that was a really good showing. I know we sound like Sony ponies, but <sighs> whatever, man. I don't look, give a fuck. It's, they do a, a good showing. showing. Like off. most times, they do a really good showing, and this time they think that they've done it again. Yep. Um, I do think that the three ninety nine for the same spec. Uh, it's pretty good. It's a hundred dollars more. I know that. It uh, it's one hundred and twenty, one hundred and thirty dollars Australia, uh, extra Australian. But like, 
you're getting the same power for, um, you know, not a huge jump up. That won't be a uh, that won't be a huge make or break for a lot of people. I think. I think a lot of people, it's going to be exclusive driven. It's going to be IP driven, of course, uh, and it's going to be. Uh, yeah, I think Sony has done a really good showing in in general. And, and the day after the Xbox comes out, what the twelfth? Because the eleventh, I think. There's a tenth for the Xbox. Okay, okay so two 12th, days, and then there's that's in select regions, and then the rest of the world it's on the nineteenth. Uh, so that's disappointing. There's a bit of a delay for people. It would be nice if it was the same for everyone. As long as it's for Australian, I don't care. Australian all taken care of. There it is. I don't care, everybody. So within two days, we're going to have two new consoles coming out. That's pretty massive. Um, yeah, man. I think they did a really good job with this live stream. First of all, can we just talk about the fact oh, that we saw Final Fantasy for 16? I just... My mind continues to be blown by that. So weird. No cinematic reveal. Just straight into yeah. gameplay. It's that medieval... It's a medieval setting. Um, which a lot of people don't like in Final Fantasy, by the way. A lot of people are so sort of... They really cling to Final Fantasy 7 and 8 mm. and sort of like 10 and that sort of style. And they really push back against like the 9 and the 14, you know. I thought 9 like... was good, but anyway. Sure. I, 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 you know, love Final Fantasy 14. 14 isn't exactly medieval, but it's kind of quite on its way towards mm. that. Um, oh, it definitely has a lot of like yeah, yeah, flavors in that direction. Definitely, You're right. Definitely. But either way, uh, you saw a much darker looking Final Fantasy as well, uh, where you know you saw that blood splattering on that guy's face. That's the end of the stream, by the mm. way, guys. That's all over. Um, that blood splattering on that kid's face. It looked like the red wedding that that, that moment. Yeah, the, the combat looked very Final Fantasy 15, from what I can tell. But you know, we don't know that. It until... looked also solo. It didn't look like it was having any group combat at all. I'm sure they'll have some group combat. I'm sure. I mean, they maybe will. they just want to go down the route of not that. I mean, I don't know. You know? Yeah, well, I don't know. But yeah, I but think... either way, go on, go on. Oh, I was just gonna say. Look, I think I'm pretty happy with everything that we saw. I do think that the frame drops were pretty constant, actually. With a lot of those games, yep, I, agree. I would say that, again, it's a fine line between doing a Watch Dogs where like, they just give you bullshit, yep. or they go, well, this is what it is, this is what we're looking to push the limits in, and there's some frame drop issues. Um, but I'm of the opinion, like if, if it's in such frame drop territory, just drop the settings. There's going to be a couple of years of them figuring out the new architecture, figuring out the, ne the next gen, like all generations of consoles. Sure. Like, it's okay if we don't get to next gen graphics for the for the first little bit. Sure. If that makes sense. No, no, you know? I, I agree. I'd agree. rather a smooth experience. Sure. And let me just like experience what that is and not have to worry about frame drops. Sure. You know? Yeah, no, I agree. Um, I agree for sure. Um, I think we saw after that Call the Spider-Man Miles Morales, yep. uh, which looks really cool, really fun. That cinematography that they bring to the table continues to be first class, so well done them. Yep. Um, definitely very keen for that. We saw the new Call of Duty, which definitely looks like a Call of Duty game. I mean, we really took a good look at yep. that trailer, and we can confirm... <laughs> It's Call of Duty. It's, yeah, exactly okay, right. so just that's no, exciting. No red circle in the thumbnail <laughs> needed. That is a Call of Duty game. Um, but look, again, uh, look, that's kind of what people want. It looks like they're just doubling down on giving what people want. I think it the sells last, a billion copies. And the last Call of Duty, I thought, uh, was really good. I really enjoyed that campaign. Sure. Um, the, I don't know if they've already come out and saying that Warzone is going to be on PS5. I'm, I'm sure, sure it's, it's going gonna to work. be. Yeah. Or something. Because it's going so well. You can't just sure. like jump ship to another battle royale without yeah, acknowledging sure. the success of that so I think it should be ported over but we don't know one of the biggest surprises uh, Harry Potter game looked really interesting it's an open world Harry Potter game yes. it's a very fully realised version of that Harry Potter of Hogwarts and that sort of world Hogwarts I, Hogwarts that's what I said Hogwarts uh, Hogwarts Hogwarts. Anyway. What are you, Eng what are you, American? Hogwarts. Hogwarts. Hogwarts, no. It looks That's pretty not cool. how we say it, okay? Very realised, you're right. It, it does. does look like, I don't know if it's going to be an open world game within a single player experience, or, or maybe it's going to be open up to other people playing with you. Um, yeah, yeah, it looked cool. It looked cool. I mean, I don't know how long they've been developing that, but it'd be kind of cool to experience that with friends, especially when, like, people love Harry Potter, and if you've got a bunch of Harry Potter fans all jumping in the world together... That'd be pretty cool, but we don't know. We saw uh, Resident Evil 8 Village. Uh, as someone that really loves 7, very pumped for this. The trailer didn't look super exciting, like, but then it's like, it's a horror game. Mm. It's kind of hard to have a really exciting trailer, I feel. They could have um, done more of a story-driven uh, cinematic thing, um, but yeah, we just kind of just think, saw snapshots of horror. I think less is best with those sort of trailers, because I don't want anything spoiled for me in trailers. So the less they show me, the better. Uh, I'm going to 
buy and play that game for sure. I'm mm. really looking forward to that. And uh, it's you know it's obviously coming to PlayStation. Uh, we saw Devil May the Cry, whatever that Devil May was. Cry special edition, Virgil edition, uh, which Devil May Cry fans were going absolutely nuts for in the chat. So that's good news. Uh, we saw Deathloop. Now that's the biggest look we've had at Deathloop, Deathloop so far. Mm. Uh, looks really interesting. Very um, sort of Dishonored style gameplay combined with that interesting mechanic of manipulating events so that you can herd targets into similar places mm. so you can assassinate them more easily while also being hunted by other people like a PvE VP thing. I don't exactly know how it's going to work yet. There are some question marks, but definitely what's there looks awesome. And like I'm like, I'm super down for that. Looks pretty fetch. I think uh, God of War, a lot of gameplay then. A lot of gameplay. Love the that. God of War we all knew that it was in development. Um, uh, you know, in terms of like, it, of course it was going to happen. We saw Corey do the whole Ragnarok thing on Twitter. Yep. Uh, we knew that the ending, of course, of God of War showed that there was good old Thor. Uh, anyway, so look, I'm excited for that. That's there 2021. Is, there's a Friday Night at Freddy's thing coming out, which we haven't played, so nope. we don't really know anything about it. There's the Demon Souls remake. Now, I think that looks cool. The frame rate, the frame rate was definitely struggling quite a bit. Mm -hmm. It was def It just looks so different from what I remember. It was kind of a jarring experience for me to see it. Yeah. Because I played it all those years ago. It looks nice for sure. Uh, I'm definitely looking forward to it. I have no doubt that it's going to be cool. I just want to see what it's like to really spend time in that game mm. when it looks and plays like that. Because it just, as I said, it was so surprising to me. Mm. I don't know, to see it like that. Yeah. Um, and what else? Then I think there was the announcement of that PlayStation Plus thing where if you have PlayStation Plus, you basically get access to a whole bunch of PlayStation like games. games the first party stuff that they own it's obviously not as good a deal as something like game pass is it's in the right direction though it's definitely like, a great step for I sure i think if they really find success out of that then they probably will double down on that sure, sure. um you know xbox has already come out previously and said that x uh, game pass is a success for them it's 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 working out for them uh, yep. financially wise you know yep, sure uh so if this also works out for them and they see a lot of uptake of uh, you know uh, what's it called uh, the uh, PlayStation Plus they might do more of that sure. but all in all pretty cool well I think the other thing is the price the final point that was of the course. big reveal which is that you know we're looking now at a four ninety nine unit exactly the same as the Series X mm. then you were looking at a three ninety nine discless version for uh, which is the same specs as the other machine and that's very different to Microsoft's offering at two ninety nine which is a machine without a disk drive and with sort of worse specs so to speak you know so it's not quite as powerful i um, think i think i was gonna say quickly the draw card i think is there's no compromise in uh performance and i think that that is the question that people have to make when they're buying an xbox now where the only question people will be asking for the playstation is like do i buy games digitally or do i do i not you know a lot of people that buy an xbox that is going to be the xbox series s uh, they're going to know that every game they play, there is a compromise that they've made, uh, you know, because it's cheaper. This one is cheaper, but they, a PlayStation players will not feel like there was a compromise when they are playing their game. And that psychologically is a thing, you sure. know, like it's going to matter to people. A lot of people are going to be like, well, I can spend the extra, you know, $50, uh, the extra $100 um, US for the discless version of PlayStation 5 and know that I'm getting the exact same experience as everyone that's paying all of the, yeah. um, the PlayStation 5 that's paying an extra $100. The, the, that thing matters. Is, the, the, the only thing is that um, you don't have a disk drive for uh, 4K Ultra HD Blu-rays, uh, which is a thing. It actually is a thing, you know, because if you... I can't remember the last time I watched a DVD. Well, I Most have, people, it's Netflix and I chill, have, It is, most people, for sure. But if you have a proper setup that can actually utilize it, it's a big difference between, like normal 1080p even normal like you streamed 4k doesn't have anywhere near the quality of like watching something on a disc so i'm into that personally um for that reason alone i would definitely buy the disc version um but you know other yep. than that but i don't buy any games on disc by the way that it would literally just be for like movies you know mm. but we'll see even then i mean if you've already got a Xbox current gen or current yeah, PlayStation. You don't need You've that. already got that covered. Sure, but a lot of people are going to be trading that in. I totally get that. Sure. Uh, and it seems like Xbox and PlayStation, all current gen uh, games, are able to be played on the next one, right? Uh, I think both consoles have said that's totally I'm doable. not sure if it's every single game, but most. Most yeah. games, fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I don't think there's going to be a question there in terms of do I have to keep my, my previous gen? But all in all, I sure. mean, I feel like they were both pretty 
Well, Xbox was more open with uh, next gen as the journey's gone on up until this moment. Um, uh, yeah. Sorry, Xbox has been more open with talking about things, talking about specs, talking about the whole next gen. But uh, Sony was a lot more cagey. That's what I'm saying. Now we kind of understand exactly what we're exp- uh, what we're going to be seeing. And there's no reason for them to be so goddamn cagey. Like, it's pretty much coming in very similar on both fronts, actually. I wonder if there was a last-minute price drop, uh, you know, to, to be able to get where they needed to get to, given the Series S. Because yep. the Series S was so disruptive in terms of its price point, I wonder if they were planning it like a like a $550 or $600 PlayStation, uh, like a normal one with mm. a disc, and then, like, you know, four ninety nine without the Disney. Like, shit, scramble. I'd, Probably I'd, not, but who knows if there was last-minute manoeuvring as a result of the Xbox announcement. The only reason... Well, not the only reason, but one of the major reasons why they lost the PS3 war... I know they came back later, but, like, was the price. Like, the price was horrendous. It was so bad. Uh, that was, like... It was, like, the, a thousand Australian dollars at launch. That was the defining reason why most people went, cool, I'll go with the 360. Sure, you know, like... Sure. It's they, they they've learned their lesson. There was no way in hell that they were not going to have to seriously compete with whatever Xbox came out. If Xbox if Xbox came out with a console that was a dollar, then Sony would be like, "Cool, ours is ninety nine cents." <laughs> like they know that they need to compete in that space, sure. or there's there's no install base. You know? Yep, yep. But either way, this was a great showing from Sony again. Just game after game after game that you will want to buy and play. That's mm. it. You know, like there was just very little filler in that that you'd go, eh, whatever. Like, pretty much everything that we saw is a thing that you'd really want to spend some time with, spend your money on and spend your time on, you know? Yeah. So, uh, good job, Sony, on that. We do have some super chats here. Oh, yes. Uh, we have, uh, to- <laughs> Toro says, Final Fantasy 16 looks like 15 in the Middle Ages. Not a good thing. Fair enough. That's what I'm saying. Some people don't like that style. Ryan uh, Lichman says, uh, meh, pass. Uh, not sure what that was about. We got Winkle Dinky with some Donkey Kong coins. Thank you Thank very, you very much. much. Appreciate you. Judson Watkins, he says, I think Bethesda changed to PlayStation side because uh, of Xbox got Obsidian. That's Bethesda's competitor. Don't want to be with Xbox because of them. That'd be quite funny. That's mm. true. Disappointing that Deathloop isn't exclusive, by the way. That's a Bethesda game. Bethesda, like, literally don't need to do this. I don't think I've seen... We've recently seen a Bethesda game go exclusive, right? No, I we think haven't. This is new territory so at least for a shitty, while. It's really shitty. But no Skyrim, I, I, guys. Yeah. Also, we didn't see that today. Yeah, that's right. That's coming though. You can bet your ass oh, on Skyrim on coming up PS5. No, no, no. Uh, Kenny Noun says, uh, just, did, you just dropped us some cash. Thank, Thank you. you. Obo says, Horizon and God of War are both releasing in 2021. You don't know that, except for Horizon, which you do. But you don't know that God of War is coming. Don't give us hope. It did say that. It said 2021. Did it say 21? Yeah. Oh, I thought it was yeah. just the logo. No, it said 2021. Well, at the you're end. right then, Obo. You called it. Raph's an idiot. You <laughs> Jetstream Jack got his message redacted. redacted. Naughty Jack. Well, thank you. Anyway. Jacob here, only tuning in on time to catch the price and date, and I'm super happy. That's good times. Mm. Uh, Michael Lama says, Arcana Masters of the Immersive Sim. Love you guys. Yes, they are very, very good at what they do. I love all this we shit. We have one so, more. There it is. And also one from Jacob. I'm going to be buying the disc version, even though I only buy digital games, just because I'd rather, just in case my situation changes. That also makes sense as well. Yeah. Um, yeah. But yes, guys, that is the PlayStation 5 Showcase. Um... Oh, Yoshi P just confirmed he's the producer for 16. That's good news. Yoshi P is the guy that heads up um, Final Fantasy 14. Oh, yeah. Cool. Okay. A producer's role isn't like... They're definitely a head honcho in that game. I can, you know, that's good news. He, he, like, <laughs> what I'm saying is not, he's not like the creative director dude. He's yeah. not like, he's not the, the it's head like when honcho. Still, Steven Spielberg is the producer. Yeah, yeah he, he, he could, directed. It he could mean, part of it. It, that's what I'm saying. It could mean that he's had a massive role in it and hugely influential, or it could just mean that he's involved in it a little bit, put his name to it as a bit of a marketing thing. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, either way, the fact that he's involved in it as all is a very good thing because he is extraordinarily talented saved Final Fantasy XIV pretty much single-handedly. Mm-hmm. So not, there's a team obviously underneath him, but he was a real visionary. Guys, that is the... Um, I thought it was coming to PS4, really? It's been a while coming to PS4, it is. I did not know that. I well, I do true? know that now. And actually, Jeff Keighley, someone also just said in the chat that uh, he confirmed it's a launch title for Spider-Man. So there you go. Wow. Guys, thank you so much for being here today. We really appreciate it. Sony put on a good show as always. We really hope you enjoyed it. We will be back on... Uh, Tomorrow with Avengers. Probably an Avengers review tomorrow. And then Layman Live. And then Layman Live. We will see you then. Layman out. Layman out.